I'm Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary. Director Larissa Kondracki brings her feature film debut to her hometown at the Toronto International Film Festival. And she got a Hollywood star as her leading lady. Joan Kelly was right here at the VZ screening room for the premiere. Rachel Wise takes on the role of a well-paid UN peacekeeper who finds anything but peace in post-war Bosnia. Instead, she's drawn into the shocking underworld of the sex trade. This is your first feature film. Going forward, do you think you'll continue to tackle big subjects like this? Um, I, I, I think every subject is big. I, I mean, you know, whatever. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think I always just want to tell political stories, no. Um, but that being said, um, you know, I, I think the scope of cinema and what it provides is exciting, so I like a big movie, yeah. My hope is to use it as an educational tool, not only to provide the kind of publicity needed to make sure that people are aware of what trafficking, human trafficking really is, that it's not just prostitution. And it's also, I also hope to use it as a tool to help get some laws changed in the U.S. and worldwide with regard to prosecuting uh, corrupt people who are working for the government and other international organizations. Now this is a story about horrific injustices to women and I'm sure a lot of the scenes were very emotional and very difficult. How did Larissa help you through that? Um, she was just extremely supportive and I mean she knows the topic so well she's really researched it and she's been a part of it for so long. She's um, she did a short film uh, based on a similar topic and she was just very supportive of all the cast and you know she's a woman and she understands how horrible these things are when it's done to young girls. So um, She's just the kind of person, if I were in the situation that she were in I would have just taken my pay paycheck and gone home, I would have been too scared. She's just someone who for her it wasn't a choice, it's just her nature. She's the kind of person that if she sees injustice she just has to deal with it. Um, it's not a conscious decision on her part, it's just her personality and her nature is such that she is that bold and that fierce and that strong and that true. What's the hopes for the audience to take away from the film? I think that one person can make a difference and the, the, there's no reason. It's shame on you if you ignore things.